back to learning construction and on this video we're going to talk about grading and cuts and fillings. Alright, so on this episode I want to show you guys uh, how do we determine what a cut and a fill is. So first of all, what is a cut and a fill? An earthwork or earth moving work, we consider cut and fill when we have to create, uh, change the grid on the area. So cutting is when you're going down below the grade and filling is when you're going above the grade. And we'll go through another video to explain to you guys this further. But for starters, we're looking at here a uh, survey state. I want to show you guys this important nail over here, which is the feather point. And this feather point represents the grade. As you can see over here on the state, it calls for a fill of 23 hundredths for the grade, for finished grade. Done. So on this portion over here, it needs to come up a little bit. However, on the second portion of this, the cut, the, 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 the stake, it calls for a cut of 9 foot 54 hundreds to where we're going to have the uh, base of this area. So what that meant was that in the stake, it called for the 9 foot below that feather point or that elevation point. So what we have done over here is we follow that feather and we go nine foot down, as you can see over here, our crews are working on that. Okay, so what you did saw over there was the grade and a cut. The stake was over here, and the feather was at this point over here, showing the elevation. So, the back of the stake had the grade, and it tells the cut that we had to create from this grading point. So we went from this point down the hill. And that's how you know what a cut and fill is when you're looking at surveying points. Well, thank you guys for coming and watching another video of learningconstruction.com. For more information on surveying stakes or cut and fill and grading, don't forget to check out these videos over here. And don't forget to go to our site, learningconstruction.com.